thank you, thank you. So I'm here with my girl Nico. Another proud little note. I've always called you Nico, I'm sorry. It's, it's just hilarious. I actually too. like it, I prefer it. It feels more familiar. It's because like you don't know who Nico could be. Yeah, male and female. Exactly. Thank you. But also just like badass. Like, like Nico looking for me. <laughs> like that's scary. So I said I'll wait to drink this. This what did I get? Watermelon lemonade. Mm -hmm. With I the think, paper straw. I think. That's okay. We got the right ones. I thought they switched us. So this is the I got the was it spicy jack? Spicy jack. Yeah. And that's jackfruit. Do you know what jackfruit is? Is that the the one that everybody says stinks a lot? I should I hope not. I don't know, but I hope you're not eating it raw. I was about to say there's something that they say like stinks tremendous. Like there's some food that's like the worst thing ever. And you got spicy mango. Spicy mango. So this is vegan sushi. This is Beyond Sushi whole thing. They don't sell any fish or any shrimp tempura, or any eel, or anything like that. These are just straight up vegetables. And you were hesitant about having this because you said sushi can't be vegan. It can't be vegan. It's not sushi. See, I'm interested to see what you think about it all overall, but mostly the jackfruit because that's a really common substitute for meat. And like, if you ever have a, a, a vegan Philly cheesesteak, okay. they'll use jackfruit. A cheesesteak? Yeah. A vegan che steak? Yeah. With quotation marks. Yeah. All right. rate these on four categories. Appearance, saltiness. Saltiness? Is it better if it's salty or worse if it's salty? We're dealing with fish, salt, or sushi in general. Regular sushi. Salt is something that people it's are like. Yeah. <laughs> saltiness, appearance, overall uniqueness, overall taste and freshness. Saltiness, uniqueness. So for freshness, I gotta get this a five out of five. I see what you're saying. With the vegetables, yeah. I, I, I get it, I get it. It's very, I don't feel guilty in any way eating this. Outside of the fact that I'm calling it sushi. <laughs> you could eat more of it. Yeah. If that's a perk. Appearance is a five out of five. Very well put together. But, but I gotta give it a three on the salt. Okay, but I think that's a little unfair. Why? Because I think the saltiness goes with fish. Hold on one second. Mike, I'll watch the corgi dog over okay, there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't have my dog eat next to me like that because I would feel so bad. Like if I didn't feed him constantly, I would feel so bad. I'd be like, yo, like he's really missing out. Oh. See, see, like if my dog did that, I can't just keep eating. I cry. Oh. Tell me about the smell too. And your companionship. Yes. Yeah. But the fact I'm not feeding my companion is Okay, like, you try this one now. Okay, so back to why that's wrong. So the saltiness, I think you need to look at that differently. So, why? Because have you, you don't want a really salty vegetable. Yeah, but you need a seasoned vegetable. Seasoned. So let's, can we change that to seasoning? No. Because like I'm salt's like the yours. main one. So what's Spicy in this one? Mango. And this is like their California roll, yes, like the most yes, basic one. Yes. So think about the mango instead of crab. I just okay. make it. There's something in there that's throwing me off. It might be the cucumber. Hold on, I gotta finish doing this one. I completely forgot. So we got five out of five on the plate. Five out of five on the uniqueness. Three out of five on the saltiness. The overall taste, I give it a four out of five. It's good. And I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian. That's not really my thing, but this is like, this is a decent substitute. I love the black rice. Okay. I think that's why the uniqueness goes way up on both of them. That's pretty bad. Not really. That's surprising. How about the 
How about another category? Two more categories. Health. Okay. But I can't imagine unhealthy sushi. Like, what, what like tempura, you? like really fried. Okay. What's your go-to? Do you have one? I like any roll with yogurt. Because I've never had that down. Yours is a little salty to me. In my opinion. Or maybe because the mango is so sweet, I'm, I'm not it's looking for like it. Matching in the it middle. Like I get at a 4 out of 5 on the sauce. 5 out of 5 when you eat this. 5 out of 5 on the plate. But a 3 on the 5 on that taste. There's something in that roll that's tripping me up. I don't know what, I don't know if it's the cucumber. I don't know if it's, it's too many, but it's like a fruit salad. I, I I'm also not that. vegan though. So you gotta explain to me like what you're getting. Does it replace regular sushi? It's one of my categories because um, like I, I like sushi. Mm -hmm. um, and if, if you're choosing to be vegan because environmental or healthy, whatever it is, like sometimes you just are craving sushi and you want it to replace. If you're into that. Okay. But I don't really like seafood. Don't kill me. So I don't mind that it doesn't taste like a crab. If it tastes like a vegetable, and it's a vegetable, it's just being honest, you know? Well, this, this watermelon lemon, this is a nice touch. It's very fresh. Like, the overall, like, freshness slash taste, it's just like, that's there. And both of them. Here, period. At Beyond Sushi, like, it's definitely, like, fresh as ever. But it's just, it's something about the...